good morning dear student i am very happy to have you in the sessions of uh, supply chain analytics i here is dr anand kumar choudhury uh, assistant professor at uh, ism patna and uh, the subject which we'll deal with uh, half an hour is uh, your supply chain analytics supply chain analytics uh, before going to the subject i would like to uh, convey your masses as uh, whatever the subject you have studied in the management it should not be taken as a subject it it should be like a approach if you will not study management as an approach you will find there is some difficulty to understand the subject and here i would like to mention few things like in the subject like uh, supply chain believe me supply chain management is a term that is commonly used in the parliamentary board media reports so it would be confusion it 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 creates a confusion among us is it the subject of academics or something else now we have to understand why supply chain management has to be studied in the management or in the business without supply chain the business cannot be possible and earlier the supply chain was not you can say the part of the operations it was a subset of the operation management but with the advancement of the technology and the informations the way flow it the supply chain management has taken place a lead role in place of your uh, operation management i have uh, lots of case studies from uh, harvard uh, business review in which uh, this day supply chain management took a place where the business people is working on the success and the failures the reason behind it lots of cases has been rectified and found out like uh, you know uh, the supply chain management is why necessarily in the game of the business so let me explain you the importance of supply chain management going before moving ahead into the analytics we must understand the supply chain management and the terminology which is used commonly in the business take an example of uh, fortune 500 company like uh, dell walmart alibaba from china 711 from you can say japan these companies are doing well because of their competencies in the supply chain management so you must understand the importance of the supply chain without this the business operation is going to be no more you you will have to understand the meanings of management the first i would not take a too much time on the management as such because you have already studied a lot about the management but the thing is that why we do a study management for two reasons the forward planning and future forecasting so if decision making in sense you can say if you have manipulative the actions of a skills in the right pathway like uh, you 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 can say that uh, uh, in terminology like uh, forward planning or decision making these both are the two important uh, ingredients or entity or the essentials uh, that is required for the any managers and the topic which we'll discuss in this session is completely related to the belongs to the the managers topics managers topic the managers is going to be taking care of the supply chain management so management needs uh, effectiveness and efficiency and uh, in both the sense the effectiveness comes with the efforts efforts in the right positions right directions so if you will not be efficient to make 
more productive or uh, more effective it, it, it seems uh, it would be like a inefficiency in your approach so i would like to hit on your uh, prospects like uh, do not take it as a subject you have to take it as a approach so let's start because this is the practical part as far as uh, as far as a uh, I concerned with the subject. I, I found uh, interesting things like uh, it has a uh, hundred years of evolutions in the field of uh, business, and uh, I have found the things has changed very quickly. Now this day, the information is playing the important role in the field of business, and so the analytics has come. We'll take the classes in the session of uh, analytics also. But it is nothing. It is nothing. It is a uh, combination of data analytics into the supply chain. That is the main theme of the uh, subject. But if you want to be in a hassle-free business and try to basically inculcate the business into the uh, higher side, you will have to understand supply chain management altogether as an approach. Again, I am insisting you should take it as an approach because here is manufacturing, uh, sourcing, transportation, shipments, warehouse, returns. There is no customer that is involved in the supply chain. But what we are doing, we are taking care of the customer in terms of their service. There are lots of products that is based on the service and there are lots of services that is based on the product. And that is why it is important to understand the customers is versatile and their nature is vo volatile. The behavior of the customers always changes. And so that the information they have, one basically I would like to mention a, a few sentences which I experienced. The information which we have is not the information we need. The information we need is not what we want. So in this way, we can say the important uh, things is to information information flow workflow process flow money flow but among all information flow is one of the key ingredients where the supply chain has to work why supply chain is important because of the regions i will take care of the classes of supply before moving ahead into the uh, uh, you can say the analytics part uh, let's see a few uh, things about the supply chain management, what does it mean? Supply chain management is the handling of the entire production flow of goods or services. Now, let me explain you again, not only the finished good. I think you people are, uh, probably understood that supply chain management works on the finished good itself, but it does not mean at all. You will have to understand supply chain works on the semi-finished goods and the finished goods as well. Take an example of the automobile industry. Where, what is the production flow is there? Thousands of car is working, thousands of bike is uh, uh, basically uh, producing. And there are lots of entity essentials and the uh, uh, accessories is required for making that car and bikes. But we know the processes of robotics, but the supply chain play the important role because of the region. Region is that the, you can say the, the lots of accessories is required. A little uh, you cannot say the thousands of accessories is required for manufacturing a car or bikes. In such a way, supply management, supply chain management is also there. But with the notes of uh, definition, supply chain management is the handling of the entire production flow of your goods or services. And it may be the product-based service or service-based product. Take an example of, again, Zomato, Swiggy, and Lords. What they are doing? They are only maintaining the supply chain. When you order a food for yourself, what you are expecting from the Zomato, they delivered on the time. What they are maintaining? Their satisfaction of the customers. Although customer does not seem here. There are lots of players which is involved in the supply chain management, manufacturers, you can say the shippers, transportation, warehouse, 
returns and the component which is in supply chain management uh, take, uh, uh, just revise it all uh, re revise it you will find the plan make source deliver return although the customer is nowhere but you are thinking what the customer taking care of the customers needs wants and demands the, it, it is an integration it is an integration of demand and supply and you have to maintain in between both so let's start a company creates a network of suppliers networks you better understand that moves the product from raw material supplier to the organization that deals directly with the users why supply chain management important we will talk later in the analytics again i am reminding you all you took you should take it as an approach don't take it as a subject because again i am reminding you there are lots of business schools b schools i am they are studying supply chain management or analytics as a sub uh, course of two years program the vastness of the subject you can better understand and we are studying it as a subject so little bit try to approach create an your approach connect with the practical lives of the supply chain management and the operations it is it was the subset in fact but these days it replaced the operation management it has its own importance in the business so effective supply chain management sub, in fact minimize the cost they, they minimize the waste and the time in the production cycle the industry standard has become a just in time supply they have customers just in time means customer is basically thinking about their needs on time their demands on time their wants on time because it is consumers that decide either you are going good or not because customer has option and the competencies in this area that has to be uh, you know the main core of the concepts of marketing it is the integration it is an integral part of the marketing itself you can say retail sales can then be so restocked almost as equally uh, as the product is sold let's take as example more uh, evolution we talk uh, how does supply chain and management works planning plans and manage all resources required to meet customers demand for a company's product or services sourcing earlier i had said choose supplier to provide the goods and services that is needed to create the products manufacturing organize and activities required to accept raw materials manufacture the product test for quality delivery and logistic returning e cart example again take it take uh, we also take a example so that uh, the subject should be more understandable what e cart is doing they don't have their warehouse cross docking they are just picking the products and delivery to the customer there are no warehouse at all so they are balancing and it's all depend upon the you know uh, the cities where the e cart is working in a small town it is still not if any uh, not efficient but in the big city the big basket or e cart is doing well E uh, AGO uh, of uh, Reliance Trends. So that is how we have to think about the carriers as well in in terms of the carrier. We if we do uh, used to say that's a plan, source, makes, may deliver, return. These are the department. In fact, these are not components. These are the department where you can look forward for your carriers as well. If we took as example, a simple example like uh, uh, any. Uh, malls in which uh, someone is a store manager they are managing the supply chain management they are in basically maintaining the integration of demand and supply for the customers the function of supply chain management operations logistic resource management objective is very clear of supply chain management and overall improvement in the efficiency because management itself says the efficiency and effectiveness should be increased reduced cost improved agility and flexibility best better customer service optimization of the value chain these are the objectives the importance of supply chain as had already discussed the management of demand and supply that is important raw material and part sourcing manufacturing warehousing 
track inventory, order management, distributions across multiple channels, delivery to the customers. And when we talk about these things, what we find? These are the important area of the business. And let's just introducing the supply chain analytics. It, it is analytics. It is analytics. It is a data analytics because of the region is your information. Again, I am repeating the information which we have is not necessary. We need and the information we need is not what we want. And the information we want is not we have. Here is the problem. And for that, data analytics is working. Data analytics is a combination. Basically, supply chain analytics is a combination of data analytics into the supply chain. Analytics is nothing. It is a, a basically analysis of the data and the column in a rigid uh, manners and make it more professional. A statistical analysis is a EDI is working into electronic data interchange in which what is it is a direct exchange of the information, the works, the process and all. So we have to understand these things, the EDI, ERP, because of the region, the e-commerce is developing unknowingly or knowingly, unknowingly or knowingly, we people are very much connected with the internet, attached with the internet and the business is on the internet and for that, data analytics has to be studied. With that notes, we will take a next sessions of supply chain analytics itself with about the features, the basics, um, you can say the significance and the challenges over the A's which has come into the supply chain management. Thank you so much. We will meet in the next lectures and the sessions. Thank you for having in our sessions. Thank you so much.